Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers. It's your boy, the Good Tonight. Back finally, at last, to do a review. Working with the uh, the Brotherhood of Nod. Objectively, uh, good guys. We've got um, Obelisk of Light, and uh, Mammoth Thanks aren't as cool as everyone says they are. So, they were doing a quick review. The Unity Fast Omni Magnifier. It's not going to be too much to talk about here, because we've done reviews on, well, the G33 magnifier. The uh, G33 compatible uh, Unity flip to center mount as well as the G45. So a lot of the topics that need to be covered have already been covered in depth in previous videos. And this one's basically going to be taking a look at this. So this doesn't just do the EOTech G45. It'll do the G23, G30, G33, G43. And outside of EOTech, you've got the Vortex, Trigicon, Sig Sauer, different variants. So Vortex-wise, we got the VMX 3T, Micro 3X, Micro 6X. 6X, pretty neat. Trijicon 3X Magnifier, and 6 hours got the Juliet 3, 4, and 6, and the Juliet Micro 3X. So how does this accomplish all that? Well, there's a few key differences from the uh, G33 sort of setup and other, and that I worked with. Particularly, there's no little, like, uh, front piece up here. That's gone. That keeps it uh, more protected when it's closed. And they've made some improvements to the way the uh, actuator works. So this pops up very, very easy. Stays up pretty solid. But... With that little twist and push motion, it moves very, very quickly. So as long as you're giving it a twist and a pull, you're going to be all right. But if you're just giving it, like, forceful motion and everything, it's not going to move. So if it's getting, like, bumped or banged, it's not really going to go anywhere. It's going to stay where you need it. And then when you need to go back down, very easy swish and flick maneuver there. So I got my thumb stuck. I am a genius. <laughs> So, that's pretty much all there is to that. Uh, as far as the top portion there, you can see there's some uh, four extra little screw holes, and that's for attach attaching different magnifiers. It does come with all the different screws you could possibly need, and it still has the very, very low profile, so it fits almost exactly like the G33. But now we get 3x magnification at the cost of a more strict um, eye alignment to the optic itself. It's not as, it's not as, uh, not as forgiving. And I actually might need to use my stock just a wee bit to get that right adjustment. It's about right there. Yeah. There's a hair on my lens and it's bothering me. Uh, we'll take care of that later. But yeah, so that's really all you gotta worry about the uh, other end of everything. It's still set up roughly the same, same forward facing quick release lever and everything. And yeah, everything else is more or less the same. You just got that improved uh, motion for that. Was it a little like ball on a spring that's set up in there? And it's made a bit smoother. And again, twist and pull, twist and push. As long as there's the twist, it'll all be okay. So, that's pretty much the entire review. That's all I really wanted to cover you guys. So I can finally run my G45 at long last for um, all manner of things. It's easier than carrying binoculars, that's for sure. And yeah, so it's neat. Um, and at some point, we will get back to where we can shoot uh, real pew pew and we will uh, get plenty of use out of it there. So until then, we've got a very neato setup going on. So if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. I need to make quite a few little changes to it. Yeah, so that's all really, really cool stuff. So yeah, cheers, stay chill, Flores, hang loose. I'll catch you all later. See you guys.